Who, who then thinks, ah oh, yes, I'm gonna go fall in love with the emotionally slow person. Oh my god, I'm so in love with you! And then being surprised when they're really, you're rejected. <laughs> I think you're the one who's emotionally slow. I just think oh, no, people I mean, play games. I... I'm hyperbolizing, you stupid f Shut up. It's okay. Don't interrupt me calling her a stupid Jesus. Did I interrupt you calling her a stupid Yes. It's important. Oh, go off, queen. Okay. And so... Lauren basically saw this. And she started leaking a few DMs. So let me pull those up. Yep. Yep. Okay, maybe I can just read them. So what Lauren did was she basically wanted to prove that, like, hey, um, Melina was just leaking all this stuff to me. And it's nothing you, uh, new uh, that I haven't, haven't seen before. You haven't been showing it on the stream, by the way. Oh, sure, sure. I've just been you reading it off. Either. Yeah, yeah. So okay. I just, I read Kelly's. It's reasonable. There's Kelly's stuff. And then, so, uh, Lauren started, like, leaking some messages here. Absolutely crazy. So, new message to Melina. I'm guessing she deleted the contact. Yeah, I tried to. So this is Melina on this side. I'm having fun. I just know I'd have so much fun if this wasn't in the background. And it actually makes me so sad that he's saying things on camera, but can't be an adult to say it to my face even, uh, ever unless he's high or drunk. It's because he's emotionally slow. He doesn't want to fix it. I told him to go to therapy and he won't do Zoom therapy with him. I can't wait anymore. So he doesn't want to at all. He's full against it fully. It's kind of cringe. Just leaking, leaking stuff about your spouse to a random person. So also, what's not clear uh, here is if this was before or after Melina slept with him. Okay. Or sorry, uh, Lauren slept with him. It's unclear. So can I say something? I also want to yeah. point out, Lauren was said Destiny is emotionally slow. <laughs> right? That was her that yeah. said that? Okay, so sure. she's shit-talking as well. Uh, yeah, but probably more in the like, oh, he's just a poor baby. He's just he's just a poor baby who's slow. Saying someone's, um, yeah, so saying someone's slow, pretty shit-talky. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Also, who who then thinks, ah, oh, yes, I'm gonna go fall in love with the emotionally slow person? <laughs> oh my god, I'm so in love with you! And then being surprised when they're really you're rejected, <laughs> bitch. I think you're the one who's emotionally slow. I'm gonna time this person out in kick chat because they're annoying me. Hold on. Give me a second to open kick chat. Eat us. I'm coming for you, motherfucker. I was gonna do a Booker T quote there, but. It's a little too early in the stream to start dropping M bombs. No, I just want them to name every single girl in DGG I've attacked. Because if you can name more than two, I'll be surprised. Oh sure. I just sorry they were the one who said I apparently extort people. It's like no, I literally I'm fine. Don't pay it. I just want you gone. That's better for me. I'm willing to I'm willing to walk that back if you if you pay me. But I literally want you gone. I literally don't want you here. Okay, anyway, yeah. Yeah, Shadow Sly gets it. Shadow Sly knew the quote. He spends more time talking to other people he gets obsessed over. No gifts, no words of affirmation ever. Like, never. Barely any quality time. He cuddles me when we sleep, and he gives me some hugs through the day, but he never tells me I'm beautiful. Smart, if I did, or if I did good, never. You clearly are beautiful and smart, and that's obvious. Whenever I tell him Melina is so pretty and smart, he says, yeah. <laughs> What a robotic conversation. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, he told me not to come to LA because he didn't want me there. He doesn't care about having me around, and I'm barely around. He's told me to move out for months, and I've had an issue with people moving into our building. Sorry, we got a sub coming in. Mike Amazon. Thank you very much for the sub, Mike Amazon. He told me to move out for months when I've had an issue with people moving into our building that is girls that he's been lying about. Oh, that's interesting. Who could he be talking about? He told me to move out for months when I've had an issue with people moving into our building that is girls that he's been lying about. Hmm. <laughs> kind of interesting that Lauren leaks DMs. It's apparently blowing her friend up. Hmm. <laughs> a little strange 
is a little interesting. Okay, I don't play games. <laughs> okay, I understand you like Molina, but come on, Kelly. Come on. Uh, um, uh, I don't know what this whole set of DMs or not, is. If something ends up being manipulative or not, it doesn't necessarily make it a game. Like, it's her life, right? Does she really want to be playing games with her life? I uh, like you'd have to think that she's so sociopathic mm, she doesn't care when it's more like she's just emotional. Wait, you can play games about shit you're emotionally involved in. In fact, I say people play games way more with that because they don't want to be upfront with their emotions. I think you might have to define what playing games is. Yeah, so playing games is being disingenuous with what you're feeling or thinking and trying to manipulate people into doing what you want. That would be playing games to me. You're not straightforward um, about think... what you want and need, and you're trying to manipulate people into doing that instead of being straightforward and saying, you need to do this or I'm out of here. I think that playing games is more than just being manipulative or emotionally manipulative, because you can just argue that saying negative things about yep. somebody that are entirely true is always going to be manipulative. And then it's like, yep. oh, sorry. So you're it's not also to say being anything. disingenuous. <laughs> like, so it's combined with being dis disingenuous. Which part is disingenuous? Which part is disingenuous? I'm saying that she needs to go to Destiny and say, I'm out. So she's being disingenuous by not establishing her boundaries, not coming up with boundaries, and then saying, this is where I leave. Right? That so this was all a problem. She needs to actually establish those boundaries and then leave once those boundaries are violated. But she's not. not. She's just trying to manipulate him into doing okay. stuff. Okay, go ahead. Can I speak? That This doesn't make it disingenuous. There's someone being not setting boundaries well doesn't make them a disingenuous person. It just means they don't set boundaries well. Um, but I think they, they know what the boundary is. They know that they're not being true about the boundary. I think that's what's been happening here. What do you here mean not being true the about the boundary? So are As you in, saying she's lying about something here? I, sorry, I don't know for sure, but I think at least some of the time she's known that like she just wants Destiny to do certain things and she doesn't actually give like a solid boundary or she doesn't, she sets a line that's just something she wants. It's not really a line. And then he violates it. Let's say, for example, with... Uh, Maybe with the Lauren thing, not telling Melina that he was going to sleep with Lauren. And then she's like, whatever, doesn't do anything. I don't know what you mean. Why are we assuming that they haven't had fights and arguments about these things and that boundaries weren't set? I think boundaries were set and, and on some occasions well, Destiny wouldn't acknowledge that he did technically cheat. I'm saying well, she's not it's... leaving over them. She just doesn't like when that happens, but she's not actually like she's not doing that on both sides. So she'll not not tell him about people she sleeps with. Right. And then when he does it, um, she won't leave. What you're so it's like not even is a really mess. a boundary. <laughs> this okay, is not really sure. game playing. Game playing is when you in is indicative <sighs> that you have some control, like real control and real influence over Yeah, something. I don't. Melina has no control. Way. Destiny has no control. It's just a mess. Sure. Of like a variety of decisions. Some of them are obviously but on both sides are kind of bad. Um Let's see it that way. But to be honest, I don't know if even most of it's bad. It's just more maybe poor decisions and then just uh, some poor matches in like personality and in the things that they want. I don't know. It just seems very normal to me, like their issues. It's just a little bit stranger because they're in an open relationship. Uh, okay. Nothing here is indicati indicative to me that either is evil or uh, some kind of manipulative. I didn't say she was evil. Genius. I don't think only evil people play games. I just oh, think you know people I mean. play games. I, I'm hyperbolizing, you stupid fuck. Shut up. Okay. God. I don't know what we're arguing about. I feel like we actually think the same thing here. We just have different words for it. So I'm just going to keep going, okay? I'm not playing games. I'm a genuine person. I don't do that dumb shit. As for the money to other girls and flying them out, I think that's just what he wants in an open relationship. But I'm guessing at this point, dot, 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 dot. This is also not true. He dumped me for a woman he lied about for six months, telling me to go... What? What is this referring to? That's for the money to the girls and flying them out. I think that's just what he wants in an open relationship. But I'm guessing at this point something. I don't know. It's like a it's there's, a message she didn't include. There's no. There's. Hold on. Yeah, I I literally don't know. I just. I, like, assume this has to be about Farah somehow, but I have no idea. Six months. Weird. He dumped me. 
I literally, I have no idea what this is about. I, this is, this is a complete, completely perplexing to me. Oh, yeah, probably. What? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not. Uh, Can you yikes. tell me what you're talking about, at least? Yeah, it's probably the Lauren um, Southern stuff, but mm, we're not going to go too into that. that. Okay. No, you I could have. Um, well, I mean, it was literally said in the chat, so. Okay, so you have to read it. So, no, literally everybody was going to know exactly what I was reacting to. That has to be what she's talking about there. I think. Okay. Okay. Too many Laurens. Too many Laurens. What well, is Kelly is the actual Lauren waiting this whole time for Destiny to become single and now she hates Lauren because <laughs> are you insane? No. 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 Fucking no. Jesus, you people are insane. Why would you want to be involved in this level of fucking crackheadedness? I'm not into bipolar people or borderline people. They're insane. Okay. I wouldn't want to be in a close proximity to a bunch of them either. I'm gonna go get some of Kelly's logs from earlier today. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, boop, boop. Here we go. Here's the log. So, Destiny originally defended Lauren to me. I always thought she was a dumbass. Uh, Kelly Jean, who's responsible for Lauren and Farah fighting? Uh, anyway, first line. I don't. I don't know. Just because someone tells you some shit doesn't mean adults. You, doesn't mean you. Oh fuck! I'm so dyslexic. What is going on? Doesn't mean you have to fight them. Farah reached out to Lauren originally and told she told her to fuck off. Maybe just speak like fucking adults. People shit talk each other. Who fucking cares? And then what was Lauren's response to this? Give me a second. She just said, that's a lie. Farah called me. I don't, I can't pull these on screen. Farah called me to apologize and even got a dinner with me to complain about what Destiny did. Okay. That's how it is, guys. That is Wait, how what? it is. Can you repeat that? Oh, Lauren just said you were lying that, um, that Farah reached out or that they didn't talk like, a, I don't know. She just said, she said, that's a lie to this overall message and then said, Farah called me to apologize and even got dinner with me to complain about what Destiny did. Laura sent her a DM, and Lauren told her to fuck off. Everyone's seen Yeah, I realize. That. It's on Twitter. Yes, it is literally on she's Twitter. Just, she's a stupid bitch. I don't know what to say. Yeah, she's just Fucking making things up. She literally doesn't have an... It, she doesn't have, a, like, a hold on reality, Kelly. We've established this, like, a hundred different ways. That she does not have, like, a stable hold on reality. It's... It is what it is, okay? Don't interrupt me calling her a stupid bitch. Jesus. Did I interrupt you calling her a stupid bitch? Pretty. Yes. It's important. Oh, go off, queen. Oh, you ruined it now. <laughs> did I? So you'll never call you'll never call her a stupid bitch again. It's ruined. I did not say that. <laughs> well, I'll just have to wait about 20 30 seconds, Kelly. I'm sure it'll come up again. Okay. Yeah, so I just I had some random leaks. I guess she was leaking those messages. Now, <laughs> I don't know if you noticed but those messages seemed extremely disjoint, and not only disjoint, they certainly painted that Lauren Molina communication in a very, very, very specific way. Surely yeah. there aren't a ton more tweets, or sorry, not tweets, but texts that could fill in the rest of this. Boots says Kelly is literally never wrong about which women are worth engaging with. Boots, I should probably really? time you out. Don't feed her ego, ever. It's always a mistake. Uh, no, you can do that. It's fine. There's enough people that do that to just ego. I can have one or two. Don't feed her ego. It's really, really not good. Um, uh, actually, you're never wrong. Write it again. Okay, I didn't expect to go over that today. I don't think Lauren's like really publicly talked about this at all. Hey, Wolfgang, how's it going? Oh, she also she said something else. Did I, I don't I think I missed this or I didn't cover it. Because oh yeah yeah yeah. She had like just a long message about how she like hasn't made this public and isn't here for drama and stuff. 
<laughs> it's just Lauren? like, bro. Yeah. <laughs> As if. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't do drama on my show, and I want it to end. <laughs> Uh, good yeah, one. But isn't she the one that's bringing good it up on stream, one. like on Xena streams and stuff? Okay. Xena streams, Alex PWF streams, Tom Foolery stream. She literally just goes to multiple streams trying to bring up Destiny, and then she's like, "You know what? I don't, I don't do Destiny. drama on my show, and I, I just Who's want this her? to end." Yeah, on her show. Where does she say this? Do you have a clip uh, or something? Yeah, kind of. I have logs. Okay. Oh, logs. From where? From hell. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. That's All everything right. I had here. I think uh, Lauren's just crazy. And I think that uh, the video we had on Lauren is going to keep doing well. No shot. Did I... Uh, I minimized it. They didn't really, Minimize. did they? Minimize what? Did they push it to game six? Oh, yes. Fringe. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Uh, fucking sports ball nobody cares about. Matthew. Ooh. Matthew Nyes. Matthew Nyes scores the dagger. 226 into OT. I didn't even get a chance to watch it. Let's go. Oh, I you have no idea how much better that just made my night. You have no idea how much oh, okay. better that just made my night right now. I'm stop repeating everything. Oh. I swear to fucking God. Fucking I'm sorry, God. Kelly. My head's a little light because all of my blood has gone to my throbbing erection. OK, First. the leaves one, the leaves one. Yes. Oh, keep repeating it. The leaves one. The Leafs won. Yeah, keep the repeating Leafs it. leave. Can I repeat the Leafs won? I will get up like a tree and leave. Oh, it's a polar bear. Their mascot is not the leaf. It's a polar bear. I was on a fucking yeah. hunt. Someone sent me a picture. There you go. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. But I mean, but he's not on the jerseys. He's like, Bruins I think. also a kind of bear? You like the ice dogs or like their ECHL team or something? The ice dogs or ice dogs a thing? Like if I tell you like I saw an ice dog outside, like are you gonna be able to dis no. make a distinction between just yeah. like I think ice it's dogs just dogs? Real, okay? You yeah. just call them ice dogs and it looks like a polar bear. Wait, what the sports polar ball bear? is this? Hockey. I'm just getting matter and matter. Oh so so good. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna watch the lyrics Britney Simon stuff yet. Who's lyrics? Uh, he is a guy. He's a commentary YouTuber. So he <laughs> got in a fight with he got in a fight with Brittany Simon, and then I've heard that like it was pretty, um, not super contentious. He was basically like, "Oh, I didn't realize that everybody has a different worldview." <laughs> oh, true. This isn't a part of my bubble. <laughs> I have I haven't actually seen it. We'll see. Does anybody have a good idea of how that lyrics convo went? Anyone in chat watch that lyrics convo? Cause like I, it seemed like I was told that it was mostly like, oh yeah, we agree. Like Brittany was like, yeah, 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 we agree on a lot of things here, and he was like, yeah, we do agree. Um, I mean, did someone like give you any timestamps or anything? Uh, no, it would just be the full it... VOD, which I think is the like an hour conversation between them. Oh, I thought it was like three and a hours. Um. He was hitting a brick wall in the bubble stuff, getting frustrated and giving up. Well, yeah, that'll happen. The problem with the bubble stuff is like you need to catch Brittany in internal contradictions and she doesn't actually contradict herself internally like very often. She just happened to do it a ton with Destiny. So if you don't know like the Dis Destiny Brittany lore, then you don't have like a lot of her internal contradictions and she will just be steadfast and not being willing to accept any like moral culpability from anything outside of her own personal bubble which makes her almost immune to criticism, right? That's like not a, sorry, but if you want to like win against her in front of her audience, you'd have to like actually find contradictions within her little bubble thing, right? And it's just, yeah, it's super frustrating to talk to her because she won't accept any, she'll just be like, no, I don't care about that. I don't think about that. That's not a big deal. And then you can like even, you could even like super hard virtue signal. She could like, she could bite a bullet that's like, I don't care about that. And you could like push her on it 
really hard and she won't care. She'll just, she only cares about her audience, right? Alan, do you think you guys have to wait until Kelly starts attacking not so erudite? <laughs> you just have to wait until erudite leaves the room. <laughs> Why would you say that? Why are you just joining in on the Kelly hates all women hey, train? Because you got Kelly does not hate all women. He's joking. He's joking. He's giggling. He's running out of content. So no, no. He's giggling. He no. is just busting your chops. I'm gonna clarify. Star. I'll clarify. Okay, I'll clarify. I only listen. That was only a thing. The one time Kelly had like criticisms for Erudite and then Erudite came in and I felt like she walked them back a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. No, but I But she doesn't didn't. hate all women, okay? She I doesn't hate all women. I didn't anything back whatsoever. <laughs> like, what did I walk back? Okay, you signed up for that. Just the you should have just let it go. Yeah, you thought the trip was worth it? Yeah, explain Watching it. From Japan. <laughs> Keep up the good stream. Uh, thank you, Get $10 off for the donation. I appreciate yeah, it. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, I can't think of the specific thing anymore, Kelly. Yeah, I can't remember what it was about. Yeah, what a fucking surprise. Kelly, tell me, give me two examples of when Lav's lied. People say Lav lies as a meme. I don't care if she's lied or not. Exactly. You can't it's give me an example lied. so it didn't happen. So it literally didn't happen, no, ever. I'm, Lav's never I'm lied. A, I don't fucking know, and I don't care if Lav lies. I just like the Lav, live, Lav, lie meme. They're not the same things. I don't go around making statements about lab lying. But you do go around making statements about erudite, though, right? Like what? What have I got? Why would you? Why would you, why would you jump on this grenade right now? I don't know why you would jump on this grenade right now. It doesn't have to be done. Kelly knows I'm joking because you see, I'm telling her, Kelly, I'm joking. I don't have an instance. Does Kelly know you're joking? No examples. I don't she know. Knows. If she knows you're joking. Kelly's a. Are you calling her dumb? I think Kelly's a Kelly, lot smarter than you. Kelly give her might not for. think you're really joking, bro. I don't know. Well, she knows because she's fucking smart. I believe in Kelly. Maybe you don't because you're a sexist pig. Okay. Uh, but I think Kelly can cringe, actually put things cringe, together. Cringe, you know? cringe, uh, cringe, sexist cringe, pig. Cringe, cringe, cringe. <laughs> I don't say a bunch of stupid statements when knowing that your chat has like three IQ and just repeat everything you say. I don't think That's you annoying. attack all women. I think you mostly like women. Just I think it happens to be that a couple women have attacked you and you've hit back and then yeah, you somehow people decided that was misogyny. Okay. Although Kelly, to be honest, the obviously. The, Nothing. I don't even want to meme about your joke the other <laughs> night. I get like banned on Twitch for memeing about the joke. Okay, I don't know how Wait, we got what? away from that. Holy shit! Ah, uh, what is this? Yeah, this was the meme. I'm gonna I'm gonna back off of it. Okay, I'm gonna back off entirely. We are beep beep beep. We're backing up. Okay, we're backing up. Uh, we're not gonna have this fight right now. Get on your soundboard. Now I'm upset. Just get. It's a good bit. Like the backing up, like the truck backing up. It's a good bit. You yeah. should just add it to your soundboard. It is. It's actually really good. You should fucking use it. Kelly There's doesn't a bunch attack of... all women, only the ones prettier than her. Yeah, I, I'm I'm so ugly compared to fucking Lauren DeLulu. <laughs> okay, listen, that chatter made it. She's gonna <laughs> open her OnlyFans career tomorrow and fucking wipe the floor with me. <laughs> Bandit Jesus. Bandito cry, Bandit Bandito cry, says cry, even Destiny cry says so that hard. she attacks Oh my god. So I'm hard, trying to I will cry. Okay. Yes, you started talking before I I'm just, bitch. Hold on, I'll uh, I'll just address this myself. Okay, Bandit Bandito said, "Oh, now the chat's gone. Fucking hell, Kelly is so fucking annoying right now." Oh my god, Kelly, you destroyed <sighs> him. You have to fucking I'm just, mute. I'm just I'm just gonna go answer that chat. I'm just gonna go find I'm that just, chat. I'm just I'm just chat. I don't give a shit. Ooh, stuttering I loser. Gotta fucking stutter, stutter, repeat, <laughs> fucking oh, record. hold on, I hold on. What I was gonna say, I was gonna defend Kelly here, but why is Kelly attacking Lauren now? I guess Destiny was right. Kelly attacks literally every girl. And then what did he Ooh. say? Even Wait, Destiny no, says that she attacks all women that come on stream. I was going to say something about that, but now I'm just going to read it and leave it. Destiny has also said the opposite. It's funny how you only remember that. Wait, but you don't have a clip for that, though. Do you, Kelly? Have yeah, no, he, like, he ha uh, so he actually, there's logs in the chat where he's talking about Honor, and he said, actually, Honor went too hard at one point. And then he has said, I don't think Kelly hates women. Obviously, I fucking don't. Well, yeah, you know, you respect women at least enough to consider the women in the audience who are going to have to listen to you talk while you're chewing, and uh, you choose to do that, so... Don't beat. Take my multivitamin, you got a problem with that. <laughs> Ptol, thank you for the subscription in Kick Chat. I really appreciate that, buddy. 
I think I missed a sub earlier. So Mike Amazing Prime sub. I think I got that actually. Rhinox saying I want to see it. Oh, instigating Rhinox. Get his ass, Callie. Pop him. I've had more arguments with more guys, but you remember the women. <laughs> Very weird. I like so screamed strange. at Mind Waves. I've screamed at Supreme. I've screamed at. I've told Booksmarks to go fuck himself, and he never came back. <laughs> I don't know who else I've fucking screamed at. There's been a lot of people at this point. Unless Connor. you think all of those people I just named are women, which could be true. In which case, maybe you are right. Maybe I am a misogynist. I don't know about that. Okay. I know for a fact that you aren't. But Justicle's gonna hedge his bets, though. He's gonna be like, oh, I don't know, maybe you could be. I'm saying Kelly is not a misogynist, okay? In fact, My I'll put money could on be it. a girl. Hmm. It's entirely possible. <laughs> We need to make a call on the lyrics versus Britney stuff. And I'm leaning towards doing it because I I have the Darius stuff, but I don't want to get to the Darius stuff yet because I'm going to do that on like without Twitch on. So the problem is, is like that's the last piece of content. That's going to be like hours, though. That's like a lot of content, the Darius versus Anthony stuff. Yeah, and I'm not. In... Go ahead. And no, no, no. And... points. Fucking yeah, so we're just going to do the Britney Simon stuff, I think. But before you start, let me ask, I'm not implying...